There lived a young boy named Timothy Thornfield. Timothy was unlike any other child in the city. He was the sole heir to the Thornfield fortune, a vast empire built upon generations of hard work and cunning business acumen. At just 10 years old, Timothy had never known the struggles of a commoner's life. He lived in a magnificent mansion, had a personal chauffeur, and dined on gourmet meals every day. However, with his privileged upbringing came a sense of entitlement that had grown like a weed within him. Timothy was spoiled to the core. He believed the world revolved around him and his every whim. His parents, Mr. and Mrs. Thornfield, had indulged him since birth, showering him with extravagant gifts and never saying no to his desires. As the years passed, Timothy's behavior grew progressively worse. He bullied his classmates, disrespected his teachers, and was notorious for throwing extravagant tantrums whenever he didn't get his way. His parents, though deeply concerned, were blinded by their love for their only child and failed to see the monster they were creating. One sunny afternoon, as Timothy's 13th birthday approached, his parents decided to throw a lavish party in his honor. The Grand Thornfield Mansion was decked out with ornate decorations, and an array of rich, delectable treats were laid out for the guests. Timothy, dressed in designer clothes, greeted his young guests with a smug smile. Among the attendees was a girl named Lily, who lived in a small house on the outskirts of Crestwood. Her family struggled to make ends meet, but she was known for her kindness and resilience. Lily, her eyes wide with wonder, looked around at the extravagant decorations. It's amazing! Timothy! I've never seen anything like this before. Lily reached into her pocket and pulled out a small gift box, I brought this for you, she said with a genuine smile. It's not much, but I made it myself. It was a handmade pebble in it. Timothy scoffed, taking the pebble reluctantly. What am I supposed to do with this? Lily's smile faded, and her eyes welled up with tears. She turned and walked away, her tiny shoulders slumped. Over the next few weeks, Timothy couldn't shake the memory of Lily's simple, heartfelt gift. He began to wonder what it was like to live a life where happiness wasn't measured in material possessions. One evening, as Timothy lay in his opulent bed, he overheard his parents arguing in hushed tones. They were deeply worried about their son's behavior and the direction his life was headed. Timothy felt a pang of guilt and sadness for causing his parents so much distress. He realized that his actions were not only hurting others but also his own family. The following morning, Timothy approached his parents with an unusual request. I want to go to a regular school, he declared. I want to learn what it's like to be a regular kid, to understand the value of hard work, and to appreciate the simpler things in life. Mr. and Mrs. Thornfield were taken aback by their son's sudden change of heart, but they saw it as an opportunity for him to grow and mature. They agreed to enroll him in a public school not far from their mansion. Timothy's first day at Crestwood High was a humbling experience. He no longer had a personal chauffeur. Instead, he took the school bus with his new classmates. His designer clothes were replaced with a simple uniform, and the gourmet meals were substituted with cafeteria food. But what was most challenging for Timothy was the realization that he was no longer the center of attention. At Crestwood High, nobody cared about his family's wealth or his extravagant possessions. He was just one student among many. As the days turned into weeks, Timothy struggled to fit in. He had never experienced such a diverse group of friends before. His arrogance and entitlement, once so deeply ingrained, made it difficult for him to connect with his classmates. Lily, however, saw something in Timothy that others didn't. She remembered the boy who had once rejected her humble gift and decided to give him a chance. She approached him during lunch break one day and asked if he wanted to join her and her friends for a drink later in the day. Timothy, though hesitant, agreed. He realized that Lily's friends were a wonderful group of kids who valued friendship and kindness above all else. Through their interactions, he slowly began to shed his spoiled persona and learned what it meant to be a true friend. One day, 
During recess, Timothy noticed a boy named Tommy sitting alone on a bench, tears streaming down his face. Timothy approached him and asked what was wrong. Tommy explained that he couldn't afford to buy the school supplies he needed for the upcoming semester. Without hesitation, Timothy offered to help. He knew that he had the means to make a difference in Tommy's life, and for the first time, he felt a sense of purpose beyond his own desires. He used his resources to provide Tommy with the necessary supplies, and in doing so, he experienced the joy of giving selflessly. Word of Timothy's transformation began to spread throughout the school. Slowly but surely, he gained the respect and admiration of his classmates. He no longer threw tantrums or bullied others, and he became known for his kindness and willingness to help those in need. Timothy's parents, witnessing their son's remarkable change, were overjoyed. They realized that their decision to let him attend Crestwood High had been the best thing for him. The transformation was not just in Timothy's behavior but in his character. As the years passed, Timothy continued to grow and learn. He remained friends with Lily and her friends, and they all had a profound impact on each other's lives. Timothy's parents also changed their ways, becoming actively involved in charitable endeavors and teaching their son the importance of giving back to the community. When he reached adulthood, Timothy chose to use his family's wealth to make a positive difference in the world. He established a foundation dedicated to improving education and providing opportunities for underprivileged children. He knew that his privileged background gave him a unique ability to effect change, and he was determined to use it for the greater good. He took his responsibilities seriously, both as the heir to the Thornfield fortune and as a guardian of the newfound wisdom he had gained during his school years. He knew that education was the key to breaking the cycle of poverty, and he was determined to make quality education accessible to every child, regardless of their background. The foundation's impact was felt far and wide, as countless young lives were transformed through education. Timothy's involvement in charitable work didn't end with education. He also supported initiatives focused on healthcare, clean water, and poverty alleviation. He understood that wealth was a tool, a means to an end, and that end was to create a more just and equitable world. Despite his newfound purpose, Timothy remained grounded and humble. As Timothy delved deeper into the world of philanthropy, he encountered challenges and obstacles. There were times when he faced criticism from those who believed that his efforts were merely a way to absolve himself of his privileged upbringing. But Timothy remained resolute, driven by the memory of the boy he once was and the desire to make amends for his past behavior. Timothy's vision of a place where people from different walks of life could come together and support one another had become a reality. He pursued his education, earning degrees in business and economics, which he believed would help him make more informed decisions about where to direct his resources. He also cultivated personal interests, such as art and music, which allowed him to find solace and inspiration in the world around him. Tommy had grown into a confident young man and was now pursuing a degree in engineering. He not only supported Tommy's education but also connected him with mentors and resources to help him achieve his goals. But amidst all his accomplishments, Timothy never forgot the small acts of kindness and the friends who had helped him become the person he was today. He remained close to Lily, who had become a teacher and was inspiring the next generation of children with her compassion and dedication. His life had become a testament to the belief that even the most spoiled and entitled could evolve into something greater, someone who could leave an indelible mark on the world, making it a better place for everyone.